preserve these animals for generations to come. Closed captioning provided by. Gilt has the designers that get your heart racing. At Insider Prices, new, every day. Hurry and grab them. They'll be gone in a flash. Designer sales at up to 70% off. Shopgilt.com today. That's some bad luck, Brian. And I think I'm late on my car insurance. Good thing the general gives you a break when you need it. Yeah, with flexible payment options to keep you covered. So today is your lucky day. For a great low rate, go with the general. Thanks for joining me on today's adventure. For the Columbus Zoo, I'm Jack Hanna. Hoping you'll come along next time as we go into the wild. Now at four, shots ring out overnight in Hawthorne, leaving one person dead, several others injured. We've got the latest on the victim's conditions. And high surf left behind lots of damage along the California coastline. Tonight, a restaurant in Seal Beach is dealing with a sinkhole in their parking lot. And the final touches going on the floats for the 135th Rose Parade tonight. And those that are camping out overnight have already set up their spots. The KTLA 5 News at 4 starts right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 4. I'm Rick Chamber. And hi there. I'm Courtney Frail. In tonight for Kareen. A giant sinkhole appears overnight in a flooded Seal Beach parking lot. The lot belongs to a local restaurant that was submerged on Friday after massive waves washed ashore. Yeah, let's go right to Sarah Welsh. She's live in Seal Beach tonight. She spoke with the restaurant's owner earlier. Sarah? Hi, Rick and Courtney. Good evening. Well, thankfully, the owner says uh, they're still open and inside they only had minor flooding. But yes, there is damage out here. This is the sinkhole they're talking about. The owner says the city keeping close tabs on it. You can see it's blocked off. The parking lot here yesterday was completely underwater. What a difference a day makes when it comes to this wild weather. High surf pounded several coastal communities, including Seal Beach, where guests like Mike at the Beach House restaurant have a front row seat to the wet conditions. Exactly. Waves have been pretty big. Several Southern California beaches remain closed following days of massive waves and flooding soaking the coast. All you can see was the top table part of it. It was all submerged in water. The Beach House restaurant looked more like an island Saturday. The parking lot turned into a lake. Just a year into having our doors open and then of course this hits. Sandbags help hold the water back. Despite the high water, the restaurant had only minor flooding. It didn't damage anything, thank God, yes. We're very fortunate. Uh, I reached out to our city council person, Lisa Landau, who made sure we got all of these pumps out here yesterday because this was a lake. There were no cars that were able to come through here. So now, you know, the city is wanting to take, make sure that they take all precautions. I'm his wife and this is our nephew. Surfers parking in the lot the last couple of days have been waves they don't often see. It's been really good. It's, uh, I think yesterday it was a little more windy, weathery, kind of mixed up, but today it's cleaned up and it looks really fun. So it's going out. Uh, waves so it's calmer little, today. Yeah, it's a little calmer, not as much energy. As the water recedes, customers like Mike at the beach house enjoy a meal and a view. Great place to sit on New Year's, the day before New Year's. So as for the sinkhole behind me again, the restaurant owner saying the city is keeping close tabs on it, keeping it evaluated, and you can see it is blocked up. Meantime, this restaurant is open. It only had some minor uh, flooding on the patio. They were able to squeegee that off. And again, folks are here enjoying uh, a New Year's uh, Eve afternoon with word that more wet weather may be on the way. We'll send it back to you, Rick and Courtney in Hollywood. All right, Sarah, thanks for that. We want to talk to Kai about that. People up and down the coast, Kai, cleaning up right now, but you said more waves are heading this way. Well, we've got a series of storms out there in the Pacific, and we can continue to bet on the fact that we're going to probably see more rain coming to Southern California midweek, possibly even next weekend. Of course, we'll touch on that coming up in the extended forecast, but in terms
terms of the surf, well, we are seeing the surf beginning to wind down. But with those Pacific storms out there, there's still another chance to pick up some big breakers once we do make our way in towards Wednesday and much of next weekend as well. But for the time being, this particular swell that has brought us these once-in-a-lifetime waves... Uh,